Diabetes causes 3.7 million deaths globally every year. One in every 10 adults has diabetes and the diabetes epidemic is growing. It is projected to become the world's seventh largest killer disease by 2030. Diabetes is of particular concern in WHO Southeast Asia region. In addition to the diabetes related deaths, its prevalence makes the control of infectious diseases such as tuberculosis more difficult. Taking action to reverse the diabetes epidemic is critical to our future. It is for this reason that the need to prevent, treat and beat diabetes is the focus of this year's World Health Day. 90% of all diabetes cases are largely the result of a poor diet and sedentary lifestyle. There are individual steps that we can and must take to fight the diabetes epidemic. Eating healthy and avoiding sugary drinks is a good place to start. Avoiding fatty snacks, eating more vegetables and fruits, choosing to drink tea without sugar and water instead of soft drink are all doable. Controlling portion sizes of the food we eat is also important. Our portions should match our energy needs and not the size of our plates. Regular exercise must complement these changes. Adults should do 30 minutes of moderate intensity exercise at least five times a week. This does not have to be a regimented process. Swimming, trekking, playing outdoor games, for example, are good for fitness and best enjoyed in the company of others. Preventing diabetes requires collective awareness and change, such as making healthy food options available at school or work canteens and organizing social sporting competitions and events. Governments, meanwhile, must regulate the marketing of food to children and must insist on accurate food labeling. They can also tax sugary drinks and reinvest the revenue in health promotion activities. This is an evidence-based intervention that makes real change. However successful prevention efforts are, diabetes will, to some extent, continue to afflict public health due to aging and genetics. Early detection of the disease is vital to limiting its impact. Regular checkups to assess risks are important. For those who have diabetes, strict adherence to diet and exercise and timely medication helps limit the progression of the disease. To make all this happen, governments must increase access to health care and increase awareness among people. Diabetes can be managed successfully. It does not have to lead to complications or be fatal. On World Health Day, we must recognize the public health threat diabetes poses and pledge to prevent, treat and beat diabetes.